Tropical Storm Elsa inches closer. The 5 p.m. advisory is out. And let's get right to that advisory. Here's our chief meteorologist, Craig Setzer. Well, a lot of times when we're tracking these kind of storms, we say, are we feeling better about it? Are we feeling worse about it? Are we feeling the same? And tonight, really, there's no news. We're not feeling any worse. We're not feeling any better. It's still a long way away, and a lot of things have to happen for us to not feel any effects, and some things have to happen for us to feel effects. But once again, this is not going to impact us over the weekend, and it is not does not appear to be a hurricane threat to South Florida. Here's the latest advice. As a five winds came up a little bit today, 45 miles an hour, moving to the west northwest at 29. It is zipping along. That's good. We like that fast motion because fast motion means it's going to have a harder time strengthening. The warnings are up tonight for much of the Windward Islands there, as well as the southern part of a tropical storm watch now, tropical storm watch as well for Haiti. Here's the future track, and here we are tomorrow afternoon. This is the Friday 2 p.m. time frame, so it's through the islands now and into the Caribbean. And then as we get into Saturday afternoon across the potentially the southern tip of Haiti, that's why the tropical storm watch is there. Saturday night and then into Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. Here we turn to the north. There is Monday afternoon into the Tuesday afternoon time time frame here. Very little changes here, but there has been a trend in the computer models to shift a little bit to the west. Here they are this evening, and basically they're still in two camps. One camp is kind of to the east there, a little bit east of us, but the majority of the models are over here to the west. Why is that significant? The split? Because land interaction would likely weaken any storms that move more across the land and would result in a weaker storm to the east and a stronger storm potentially to the west of us. So basically summing it up, not expected to be a South Florida hurricane threat. The closest approach will be Monday and Tuesday. That's when we could see the worst of the weather. And once again, no preps at this time, but we want to stay up to date as we watch this through the weekend. Back to you. Thank you. And don't forget, you can track Tropical Storm Elsa right now on our website, cbsmiami.com. Plus, get all the day's late-breaking news with our CBS Miami app. It's available now in the App Store or Google Play Store.